Okay folks, I wanted to share with you some of the mods that I made to the DJI Phantom. First I changed out the props to carbon fiber props. Put in a Fat Shark Predator V2 FPV. Mounted the camera using Velcro on the old propeller blade. Just cut a piece of that, hot glued it. Uh, shock mount, uh, typical off of eBay. GoPro Hero 3 Black. Put in a toggle switch right here just, just to turn on the transmitter power to the FPV. If I don't need it then I can save, uh, get a little more battery life by just turning off the power. It's Velcroed on here. The Fat Shark is Velcroed on here in case I want to take it off to save some weight, get a little bit longer fly time in case I don't need it. Uh, but for the most part I just leave it on. Added some of this black loom, find that at Home Depot, a few bucks, uh, just to give it a better shock mount when you hit the ground with it or land. It's a nice, uh, gives a little bit of bounce spring action to it. Not too bad. And I'm going to go quickly into the control side and add on to the control side. Let me see if I can do this here. Bear with me a second. Okay. You can see this flashing LED. That's coming through that fiber optic cable. It's going in front of the FPV camera. This is a $34 display off of eBay also. 7 inch TFT. Uh, mounted to the um, Phantom Control. Just quickly, here is the Fat Shark goggles which I also made some lenses for for my eyesight. Uh, you can easily do that with a hacksaw. Just go to Walmart, cut up whatever you need for it. have this carry kit that I put on my belt here. Battery pack to run a few things. This will also run a amplifier that's located on the back of the control. We'll get there in a second. But this can just be belt mounted. So going on to the control, I moved the antenna from the center to the side. Uh, also have, um, I'm gonna fire up some power here. This is the six volt. I, I used the two six volt gel cells. So one of them is actually gonna power the transmitter. Stand by one. Okay, so anyway, this is a, a removable LCD TFT. If you don't want it on here, you can put it on a tripod. Uh, the hood too, you know, 12 bucks off of eBay. Isn't that the truth? Everything's off of eBay. The amplifier from eBay, um, it's not hooked up right now because I don't need it. Antenna mount there and the antenna output will go here. So it's just a matter of moving the antenna over there, hooking up the uh, SMA to this connector here. So this antenna will move to the amp. The SMA pigtail plugs in there. Then you got your power there. Added a voltmeter so I can make sure that I have a positive voltage going to the amplifier if I am using the amplifier. Making sure that there's a good voltage to run it. And the flashing red of course on the screen is coming from the fiber optic right there. Another note is this is totally useless in the daytime. Once you hit daylight with this, you won't be able to see that flashing red, just as a caution. And that's um, about it. Uh, in the kit, I added a stopwatch. Bought just one of these RF detectors, again from the bay, just so I can tell when the transmitter is live. Just turn it on, turn on your transmitter. You can get a good indication that you got power coming out of that transmitter, RF power. Couple of gain antennas, uh, just with this antenna, with this uh, 9, 10 dB gain, I don't know what it is, off of the bay, without the amp, I'll get at least one mile coverage. So I don't even know if you need the amp, but maybe if you want to run a small antenna, you can use the amp, juice it. 
if you want positive control at the time, you could do that. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Have a great flying day.